Excel 2013 introduced Flash Fill, a great feature for manipulating data in a number of ways. You can use Flash Fill to format data, to parse data, and even to concatenate data. And, as you will see in this tip, you can even use Flash Fill to clean up a QuickBooks generated trial balance report and put that report in a format that most accountants prefer. To begin, export the trial balance report from QuickBooks. Of course, you do this by opening QuickBooks, bringing up the trial balance report, and then clicking the export option. That will produce a report similar to what you see on the screen. What is problematic in this case to many accountants is the presence of the account numbers and the account names in the same column in the Excel worksheet. Additionally, sub-accounts in the same cell as their parent account such as federal withholding, for example, sharing cell A21 alongside payroll liabilities, that's also an issue for many. Fortunately, we can quickly reformat this report in Excel using Flash Fill. Know that Flash Fill is a pattern recognition tool, meaning that it interprets data based on patterns that you specify. Flash Fill is not perfect, as it will not always interpret the patterns correctly. However, as you provide additional guidance to FlashFill, it can, shall we say, learn from its mistakes. To address the issues identified with the report currently on screen, let's begin by specifying the pattern that we want FlashFill to use. To do so, let's click in cell D2 and enter 10100, which of course is the account number for the checking account. Let's also click in cell E2 and simply type the phrase checking. Now, let's run Flash Fill. To do so, we will again click in cell E2 and then execute Flash Fill either from the Data tab of the ribbon and choosing Flash Fill or a Control E keyboard shortcut. As we do so, we see that Flash Fill has, based on the pattern that it identified, attempted to extract the account numbers from the data in column A. The results provided are a good start, but they're far from perfect. In particular, notice that FlashFill failed to recognize the sub-accounts starting on row 21 of the worksheet. All we need to do is provide FlashFill with a little additional guidance, that is, entering account number 24010, that is the sub-account number, and pressing the Enter key, and see that FlashFill learned from the additional guidance and gave us just the account numbers that we were looking for. Likewise, let's just simply click in cell E2 and execute Flash Fill again, either from the Data tab of the ribbon or a Control E keyboard shortcut, and we see that Flash Fill has now provided to us the account names of each of the General Ledger accounts in column A. In a matter of just a few seconds, we have completely cleaned up this report using an incredibly simple yet powerful feature of Excel. In summary, FlashFill, added to the 2013 release of Excel, is indeed a versatile and powerful tool. Using pattern recognition algorithms, FlashFill is able to quickly address the formatting issues that many QuickBooks users have with trial balance reports generated by the application. Of course, the usefulness of FlashFill does not end there. Give it a try whenever you have a set of data that you need to manipulate. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to view this tip. For more information on the training programs we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.